Last week on the Crimson Hawk Sports Network, IUP hosted Edinburgh in a critical PSAC West matchup. And in the first quarter, kicker Brett Allman was two for two first from 41 yards out. And late in the first quarter, another field goal by Allman made from 43 yards out would give IUP a 6 nothing lead going into the second quarter. And it was all IUP early on. But redshirt freshman John Gervin from Edinburgh really having the performance of his life will find Jordan Williams from 26 yards out to give Edinburgh a 7-6 lead over the IUP Crimson Hawks. Edinburgh's offense would continue, but this time on special teams as Massey blocks the kick and is picked up right here by Edinburgh, and they'll return it all the way to give themselves a big lead over the Crimson Hawks early on in the second quarter. But IUP would respond as DeAntoine, the Rocket, Williams from 17 yards out, would give IUP a 13-13 tie over the Edinburgh Fighting Scots. But Gervin looking for Massey once again, and he connects for 75 yards behind the Crimson Hawks defense, and he will take it all the way to give Edinburgh a 20-13 lead over the IUP Crimson Hawks. But special teams played a big factor. Terrell Holloway blocks the punt, and it set IUP up with perfect position. And later on in that drive, DeAntoine, the Rocket Williams, from two yards out would give IUP a 20-13 lead over the Edinburgh Fighting Scots. Late in the second quarter, we'll take you to live audio. Barnes has to take it now. He caught it, but Barnes still on his feet. Barnes cutting it back in. Barnes finding a gap. Barnes has a hole. Barnes has one man to beat. That's the putter who's going to trip him up, but he's still on his feet. Oh, ball, ball. Let's see where it rolls out. That play would be ruled a first down for Edinburgh and a touchback. So IUP blows another chance to take the lead in the third quarter. Early on, Jeremy Donaldson from one yard out would give the Edinburgh Scots a 29-20 lead over IUP. And IUP struggles would continue here on second and 11. Mike Box looking for down the field, but he was stripped by Bobby Commence. And Edinburgh would recover the ball. Brett Allman would add a field goal later on in the third quarter after Mike Box was taken out and replaced with backup quarterback Logan Weaver. But Weaver would have struggles of his own as you see here on a first and 10 late in the third quarter he is going to throw another interception to Devin Gafour and Edinburgh fighting Scots keeping up with the IUP Crimson Hawks and in the fourth quarter Mike Simmons will get his field goal blocked by the IUP Crimson Hawks so IUP staying alive in this game even with some difficulties on the offensive side of the ball and you see here Mike Box back in at quarterback looking for his favorite cere- receiver Terrell Barnes over the middle over two Edinburgh Scots gives cuts the Edinburgh lead 36 to 30 but late in the fourth quarter Mike Box trying to lead a game winning drive miscommunication between him and Terrell Barnes and he will get intercepted by Delone, Delano Fabor and that will end it for you as IUP has lost two in a row going into Mercyhurst.